Why you panicking? I was busy. I was ready to run this city. I ain't lying. No kissing. That shit got busy. I don't trust these niggas like Biggie. I don't even trust these niggas like Pop. Yeah. Nigga wanna play with me and I spot. Yeah. I fuck that bitch. She bad. She dark. Yeah. These niggas, these bitches ain't got no heart for real. Yeah. Gotta keep one up. He might get dry for real. Chill. Why you panicking? I was busy. I was living and running the city. I ain't mad. No kissing. Uh, yeah, this shit get busy. What's my cup? This shit don't spill. I need nigga ain't got no kill. Damn. Okay, y'all. What is up? Today is wait hold on let me get my glasses because i look a high ass bitch and i need to sit in this car for like a couple seconds so i get my life together my glasses are scratched it is hot but i cannot turn it on just simple fact i gotta do this voiceover that is better now i look like some fucking body so what is up y'all so welcome to another freaking vlog um today is sunday i ain't gonna tell y'all today because y'all know i'd be behind on uploading videos um uh, right now i am in the parking lot of costco what is ironic is i am uploading the costco vlog for my first time coming here which was like in march we're currently like in april right now um so yeah i have to go to costco because i have to get some groceries um i have to get some essential things i'm trying to get my life together because um uh, i up i started the process of uploading the vlog before i left home um and i just need to check to see if it's done uploading i think it is let me see yep it is done being uploaded so by now you guys have probably already watched the first time i ever went to costco i did not do a thumbnail so i have to hurry up because for some reason i could not find the pictures for the thumbnail um, I also have a TikTok that I'm uploading right now, so make sure you guys are, you know, following me on TikTok as well because that's why I post like most of my life at. Um, I'm active on Instagram, but not as much. Like I just got like a couple pictures on Instagram because my following is not big on Instagram. I'm just gonna be uh, quite frank. I just left Once Upon a Child. Y'all know I love Once Upon a Child just because I have so many kids and I swear to God, like I literally save like a lot of money when I go there. Um, so I went there before I came here because I came, um, I actually went there because I wanted to find, um, Junior some black G-Nikes just to run around in and play outside, but they did not have any. So I ended up finding some black G-Nikes and I got future quite some things. So I'm going to show y'all while I'm in the car because why not? Um, I didn't bring y'all in there. So, um, I found him the, y'all future is in a size three, almost in a four, but he's like four is kind of like a little bit too big for him like it kind of flops off his feet so i went there to find him some size three shoes like walking shoes and stuff or like just some play shoes or whatever but they did not have any i found some sandals but i was like on the edge about buying him sandals just because my boys have never wore sandals i think the last son that i had to wear sandals was nathan and he hated it so um yeah i don't buy my son sandals anymore i just buy them strictly tennis shoes but i found him these these are a size seven and they were 22 dollars look how stinking cute these are i wanted these actually this is like corduroy or like carpet material and they're red and gray i just thought these were so cute and he's gonna wear these probably in a fucking year or so um i also found him some um g nikes as well and i'm gonna tell you how much i spent so i spent after tax i spent 104.70 and i had like 15 percent off of one um I, apparel item or something that they were doing and next time i go i'm gonna actually get 20 percent off so that the next time i go is gonna be like a big haul so i'm gonna try to get at least i try to get at least like three or four things for each each one of my kids um i also got featured these g nikes which are so a size seven y'all they are like brand stinking new um and these are like 20 bucks so i got these as well i got him a few um he's growing so future is like in the 18 to 24 months to be honest i've been trying to squeeze him in nine months and not realizing like the kid is way too fucking big for the stuff so uh he's now in a 24 month or a 2t and he makes 10 months in i'm gonna tell y'all hey siri how long will it be since june 23rd of 23 it was nine months ago 
How long has it been since June 23rd, 2023? It was nine months and three weeks ago. Yeah, so in a week, he'll be 10 months. So he's currently in a size 2T right now, 24 months. So I found him a couple of polo little outfits. These are like a size 2T, which I thought this was so freaking cute. And this is brand new as well, the tags in the inside. To go with those, I found him these polo shorts. No, these Gap shorts. Uh, which were like five dollars, which is so cute. So I made like a whole outfit for eleven dollars, no, thirteen dollars, because I got fifteen or ten percent, fifteen percent off that shirt. Um, I found him this top, which was like two fifty, which I think is so cute, and he can also wear that with that navy blue uh, bottoms. I found him this linen shirt, and I bought these Gap shorts to go with it because I thought that was so stinking cute. Um, and as y'all can see, like the tag and stuff is on there. Um, the gap tag is on the inside and then um, I got him this one from Janie and Jack He actually has another outfit um, from Janie and Jack and I like their clothes I love their clothes. They're very, like very top tier I got him some Old Navy shorts because his brother has these shorts and I could not find them in the 2T So I got them from him for him and I got him this They said it's a she yes yeah, a she in top um, but he's not going to be able to fit this no time soon. And this is like a 3-4, which I thought was so stinky cute. Um, my son loves Mickey Mouse. Like, if you're in a house or if you hear my videos that I be uploading, like, on Instagram story and stuff like that, this is all he watched. So, I got him this, in which he's able to fit this now. I think this is like a 2T. Yeah, this is from Old Navy. It is a 2T, which is so stinking cute. Um, and then, let me turn my air down. I mean, up one. And then I also got him this... Um, I also got him this polo shirt, which is just like a regular tee. Um, and this one was, I believe, seven. So their t-shirts are seven, um, and their college shirts is like eight. So I get a lot of my sons, especially like my oldest son. Um, I used to buy like a lot of his clothes from there. So yeah, but we are currently at Costco. Um, I need to do this voiceover real quick for TikTok. Then I'm going to go ahead and head in. Like I said, I have a gift card for Costco. That's the only reason why I came here. And I have to get, like, essential stuff. So I have to get paper towels. I have to get woman essentials. Um, I also have to get um, some Tide Pods, some OxyClean if it's on sale. Um, Y'all know I have the Sam's. I have a Sam's card as well, which I told y'all in my last Costco video. I have a Sam's card as well. So I, I'm going to go to Sam's actually to get grocery. But I just came here because I want to use my gift card. If I see stuff, then, yeah, I'm going to grab it. But I actually have to come back here either on Wednesday or Thursday to actually complete grocery. Hopefully Thursday. Yeah, it's going to be Thursday. It's not going to be Wednesday because Wednesday is Faith's birthday, which is on the 10th. Um, and we are supposed to be taking her somewhere after school. Child, I don't know. Um, which I need to see if her daddy want me to get her balloons and stuff because he's going to go to her school and surprise her with like cupcakes and stuff. So I need to see if he actually needs me to get the balloons and stuff or if he's going to get it. Which I'm pretty sure he probably not because he's not going to want to go downtown then come back so i need to do this voiceover because i'm about to get ready to upload my costco vlog or finalize my costco vlog i have to add the thumbnail so i'm about to do this voiceover and then we're gonna go ahead and hand it to sam so y'all just stay tuned okay so i made it in costco I'm trying to bait on if i want to get these or not because i would need hella these but the box is pretty damn big this is the lap i'm guessing and somebody broke it, which concerns me. Because, Ooh, why is it so easy to break? But I'm gonna show this to my husband, and hopefully he can figure out if he want to do that or not. Because I'm not a hundred percent sure if I actually want to do that anymore. Um, just because I feel like we're gonna need a hell of a lot of those. But I actually came here for storage bins, in which I do not see them anymore. I think they were previous aisles so I have to find those but for the most part y'all um, I'm gonna have to go to the next aisle to see if I can find them to um, see exactly but I'm gonna check back when, in with y'all when I find those containers so I can show y'all exactly what I'm looking for okay y'all so I am done shopping i just did not pick up the camera because i am in a rush but i want to show y'all my cart and show y'all exactly what it looked like and i want y'all to guess in the comments how much i'm about to spend okay so this is the lemon with that oh yeah so this is how my cart looks 
it's damn packed honey so hopefully this is not over 400 dollars because that's all i got but this is how my cart is looking and i'm gonna do um so when i get home i'm gonna show y'all what i got and y'all gonna watch me you know put everything up but i think for the most part i am done i just don't like that costco does not have scan and go because at sam's that kind of helps me with my spending but i'm about to go and i'm gonna check back in with y'all when i get in the car Alright y'all, so I'm back in the car. As y'all can see, the air is blasting. Let me just tell y'all. They got damn lemonade. It's so damn good. Okay, this is my first time trying chicken bake. Um, first of all, that is so disgusting what I just did. Because um, I've been touching every fucking thing under the sun. My husband. Got me some sanitizer for my purse. Okay, so let me just sanitize my hands off because baby, I still gotta go to Sam's job because I didn't get any water um, or milk. What is this? I took out pizza. Hold on. I don't trust nothing but chicken. Like no cheese, no nothing. What is this supposed to be? I don't know about it. Uh, I know I should have got pizza, bro. Oh, I'm just disgusted now. Yeah, I'm about to go to Sam's. I don't think I'm gonna vlog when I get to Sam's because, as y'all know, um, Sam's be playing music, and I did not know that until I started trying to vlog in there. And that's when I figured it out. But um, I'm probably gonna check back in with y'all once I get um, home to show y'all like what I got again. I was gonna go to Target because I need to actually return something. But I don't know, I just feel like I'm gonna get trapped if I take my ass in there. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, I don't know. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to check back in with y'all when I get somewhere. I just don't know exactly where yet. I'm just so disgusted just now from what I just fucking ate. I don't know if it's because I can't taste the cheese yet or what. But I don't know. I just try to get them. I try to get them the benefit of the doubt. And I don't know what that is. That's what I get for always listening to people on TikTok. Because I, be, I follow this girl who always take her twins with her. Or this woman. I'm not going to say girl because she's not a girl. She's a she's a, a woman. I follow her and she always gets her kids chicken bakes whenever they whenever they go to Costco, y'all. And them kids be tearing it down. But yeah, I'm going to check back in with y'all once I get somewhere. Just don't know where it's going to be yet. But y'all just make sure y'all stay tuned for the rest of this vlog. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until now and... Just stay tuned. Okay, so I am at home. All of the groceries have been up, unloaded. 
I'm about to film some TikToks uh, for whenever this part two of. God bless you. See, God bless you, true. God bless you. You got one more in you? God bless you. That's it? Okay. So I'm about to film. You got jokes? <laughs> so I'm about to film a TikTok of everything that I got from Costco this time. Um, I also went to Sam's Club. I did not get a lot from Sam's. I literally got water, paper plates, and like homie citrus, but I'm going to show that to y'all in a minute. Um, so it's going to be like a double take. So if you follow me on TikTok, you're going to see this kind of twice. Uh, I'm just about to do a haul of everything that I got while I organize everything. Y'all gonna watch me organize and do the haul at the same time. Just because I bought this little attachment, and baby, and I'm about to use it. So, and then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna show you guys how everything looks in the house. We're also cleaning up, which I'm gonna show y'all. Thing one and thing two is supposed to be cleaning up. So, I actually bought the container because if y'all seen in this vlog, I might put all that together. I don't know yet. Um, I bought Easter stuff. Uh, that was on clearance for like 50% off and I'm glad I did because I went back to um, Walmart like literally a couple days later and they did not have anything. They only had Easter eggs for 75% off. But yeah, we're cleaning up. I might hang up my picture. Um, I might not. I just been so distracted on not hanging that picture because I'm scared it's going to fall and the next time it falls, it's going to be a disaster. And my daughter found my third band to my ring i need to clean my ring but y'all i've been wearing my ring like this for almost two years now and i kept saying i got a new mattress and everything i had cleaned up my bed i thought my ring had fell under my bed but it didn't it actually fell in the sofa and i'm glad i did not sell my sofa because my ring would have went it. but yeah so this is my ring now i have two bands y'all it's glistening i have a ring and two bands i got this for my birthday i believe a couple years ago i'm not sure i gotta go back and look at the video of when i got it but yeah y'all so that's what i'm about to do they're gonna clean up on that side hopefully everybody stays on that side i'm about to put future on that side as soon as they finish sweeping up that mess um so that we can get started and then like i said once i'm done like i did in the last costco video i'm gonna show y'all the pantry and i'm gonna show y'all the refrigerator and then i'm gonna tell y'all how much i spent at the end so y'all just stay tuned let's get started if you were a star, you'd be the one I'm searching for. All the girls they gotta take you. But I just always feel like they're in war or something. You got time, you hit your pretty. Heard it's your story, working weekends in the city. Gotta take you out, girl. You're not too busy. If there's nothing wrong, I'll just let her song through it. I'm so glad my lens is a wide angle lens. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is Hopefully my trend will give me copyright. Okay, so 
that is pretty much everything I got from Sam's and Costco. So now I have to put everything up. I also bought this container that I showed y'all. Um, I actually got that from uh, Sam's actually. And I'll put some more lighting on because like I be noticing, I need to invest in like a light that clip on to the top of my thing because when I be in my bathroom, my light be like dimming in and out. But as y'all can see, the wide angle lens opened up to where y'all can pretty much see everything. So normally what I do is, um, I start, Nala, come on with the dishes. I start um, with the cereal first because that's already right here and I just want that to look aesthetically pleasing. So, um, but y'all just gonna watch me refill everything from my pantry. I'm trying to get y'all at a good spot so y'all can like see me like refilling stuff. Go the other way, Pop. Y'all can see me refilling stuff and the whole nine. Um, oh, let me show y'all. Well, no, I'm gonna show y'all after I finish it up. So yeah, so now I am about to refill the cereal, the snacks, and then we're gonna start on the refrigerator. So let's go. Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is nothing In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, trifling, difficult Make more, I don't know Why you
Okay, so let me put y'all on game. So y'all know how we, or y'all, or whoever, y'all told me that we was boycotting Starbucks. Let me put y'all on. So y'all know how Starbucks have those um, sandwiches, those breakfast sandwiches with the cheese and the eggs and stuff and the meat? Costco got it. You buy eight of these, I believe, for like $12. And you pay $5 for these at Starbucks, which we're not supposed to be drinking Starbucks, so, so I heard. But if y'all want that, go to Costco and get these. Um, also, if you're a stay-at-home mom and your kids like to eat on the go and they just don't like to sit down and act civilized like a person sometimes, these will save your life. I promise you, these will save your life. And I tried to get my kids sugar-free syrup last week. Baby, they put me in my plate, so I had to buy a container of syrup, which I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so I had to buy some more uh, syrup as well. So we're gonna put this up, um, clean the counter off so I can start cooking. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all once we're done with that and I'm gonna show y'all how the kitchen look once it's actually clean. So stay tuned, but I was trying to fix it. Okay y'all, so if my face is crusty, please don't talk about me. I had a rough night. It is the next day, as y'all can see, the sun is out again. My kitchen is a hot ass. I'm not gonna tell us a mess. These are clean dishes, so don't talk about that at all. Um, I bought these cups that y'all see. Y'all gonna see that on my Costco video. Um, my other vlog that I uploaded, like, you know, a couple, probably a couple videos before this one. So, today, I just have to finish putting up the stuff that I got from Costco. And, um, I have to organize some more. If y'all had kids in the background, of course, Junior stays home, so... Him and Future are actually in his room playing, and he just closed the door. Future probably did that, because Future be doing that with his walker. Okay, so, um, the pantry I finished, but I did not do anything pertaining, like, to the laundry. Um, and I also did not do the cereal, so I'm going to do that with you guys on camera, because I did promise you, you know, that I'm going to do that. I'm also going to film some TikToks as well. I have to do a voiceover um for a tiktok that i'm about to upload now because it's almost one o'clock i slept pretty much the whole day the eclipse shit is happening right now i don't know it's kind of dark it's thundering outside so hopefully my kids didn't even get to do that to be honest um so yeah we're gonna get our day started at one o'clock in the afternoon because today's my off day today's my last off day um i have to do a lot of stuff that's pertaining to content i have to pay bills i have to plan out bills um I have to make some phone calls. I have to order my daughter cupcakes because her birthday is on Wednesday. Um, I have to figure out what we're doing on Wednesday. Also, so I have a lot going. And you would have thought that I would have got my day started once the kids got on the bus. But I did not. So, I'm here with you guys now. Um, I also have to figure out Dennis because my teeth has been bothering me. And I'm ready now to, as y'all can see, my smile is so effed up. Like, I went to the dentist. I could do like a whole, I'm going to do a whole, I'm probably going to do like a whole story time on that. Um, once I start, you know, kind of fixing my smile or whatever, but y'all, my side profile tooth is actually missing and it was not supposed to be pulled out. Long story. So if y'all want a story time, let me know in the, let me know in the comments, y'all, because when I tell y'all I should have sued, like, ah, uh, uh, it's like a whole shabam. So it's getting dark outside, so I have to film now, like, you know, as y'all see, like my lens, I got a new lens. Um, I did not get new lighting, so I'm actually researching that. I don't just go buy stuff. I like to, like, look into it. It took me a year to get this lens that I currently have just because putting money into content creation and, like, good quality, it it takes some research. You don't want to just spend hundreds of dollars on lenses and lighting and stuff like that and it don't work out for you and you can't send it back. Like, who wants to do that because it's not me. So, what I'm about to do now is I'm about to grab everything that I need from the... 
laundry room i have to start a load of laundry after i'm done restocking everything and then i'm gonna show you guys the pantry we're gonna refill the cereal um i cooked last night but i did not clean up so you guys are gonna watch me clean as well i have to find some pants so without that being said let's get started True behind the scenes, like real life. Cause it's like, what else I'm gonna do? And stack it, you know what I mean? Okay. Turn on some more lights. Some more lighting. Okay, let me get some light from over here. Cause it's dark as shit right now. All of the lighting is on. Okay. I don't even know where to put. The... Can you see over here now? So I'm gonna put this in front of y'all. We're gonna go from here. So. This is how I film my behind the scenes for TikTok. So if you guys have not followed me on TikTok, make sure you follow me on TikTok. So this is gonna be like an ASMR. I have not did these in so long. These used to make me go viral on TikTok. This is like one of the reasons why I have so many followers right now on TikTok. They came from this, so I wanted to start back doing these. Um, I have a lot of them from like a long time ago. So if you guys want me to post it on YouTube Shorts, let me know in the comments and I'll do that for y'all. So let's get started. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them to the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, mm. and I know you taste this a little bit, mm, high maintenance, mm. everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis, with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it, I mean I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy, blood in my pen, better yet with your friends and them. I really wanna know you all. I really wanna show you off. Fuck God, pour up plenty of champagne. Cold nights when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and y'all curled in that little bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. Nigga, don't approach her with that Atari. Nigga, that ain't good game, homie. Sorry. They say conversation. A nation, I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs unless I write it down for real. P.S. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. And I know just know just know just know just know just what you want. Oh, what it just is, put it in the song. All right. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. And I know. Just know, just know, just know, just know, just what you want. Oh, what a justice. Put it in the song. All right. I really hope you play this. Cause 
Cause oh girl, you test my patience With all these seductive photographs And all these one-off vacations You've been taking Clearly a lot for me to take in It don't make sense Young East African girl You're too busy fucking with your other man I was trying to put you on game But you want a plane Take you and your mama to the motherland I could do it Maybe one day, when you figure out you're gonna need someone When you figure out it's all right here in the city And you don't run from where we come from That sound like poetic justice Poetic justice You were so new to this life But goddamn, you got adjusted I mean, I write poems in these songs Dedicated to the fun sex Your natural hair and your soft skin And your big ass and that sundress Ooh, good God What you doing that walk for? When I see that thing move, I just wish we would fight less and we would talk more. They say communication, save relations, I can tell. But I can never write my wrongs unless I write them down for real, P.S. You can get, 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 you can get. And I know just, know just, know just, know just, know just what you want. Oh, where the justice, put it in the song, all right. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. And I know just know you know, know just know just what you want. Oh, where the justice put it in the song, alright. Every time I write these words, they become a taboo. Making sure my punctuation curve, heavy letter hits true. Living my life in the margin. And that metaphor was proof. I'm talking poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, you need to hear this. Love is not just a verb, it's you looking in the mirror. Love is not just a verb, it's you looking for it, maybe. Call me crazy, we can both be insane. A fatal attraction is common, and what we have common is pain. I mean, you need to hear this. Love is not just a verb, and I can see power steering. Sex drive, when you swerve, I want that interference. It's coherent, I can hear it. Mm-hmm. That's your heartbeat. It either caught me or it caught me. Mm-hmm. Read slow and you'll find gold mines in these lines. Sincerely, you're truly. And right before you go blind, P.S. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it. And I know just, know just, know just, know just, know just what you want. Oh, where the justice put it in the phone. You want that shit happy? Touch your boy. Oh, my hand can just say. Did it for like five seconds. Ha, ha, ha. Yay. Yay. Now I gotta put on this up. Oh, let me show y'all how to do Because I know y'all probably like, wait. We done watch. I will show y'all future, but he ain't ready for social media yet. All right, y'all. Ignore all the... I made it work with all that mess in the background. But y'all, this is how it looks when I'm done restocking. So I got my scent boosters. Y'all know... I okay, so y'all, I've been on these downy, the ultimate fusion ones. 10 out of 10. How do y'all say it? 10 out of 10. And I did not know, somebody told me, I think it was on here, it was on TikTok, that if you, if the top is on there and you're in the store and you're not sure how it smells, to do this, and the air brings the scent out to the top. Y'all, I love them. So, they're these colors, so if you guys want to try it. Okay, y'all, so, I have these stickers linked on my Amazon storefront. These bottles are linked on my Amazon storefront. And these are linked on my Amazon storefront. So I have one for fabric softener, I have one for bleach. I'm gonna show y'all that once I put it in the laundry room, but the laundry room is kind of dark. I don't really like going in there. Future is being hella rude today. Um, these are my dishwasher pods that go under the sink. These two also go underneath the sink, and which I'm gonna show y'all, hold on. So under the sink, this is how it looks. I got these bins from Home Goods, these labels and this little thing right here came from Amazon, so I'm gonna link that for y'all. Um, I have my sponges in here, gloves and like Clorox wipes and stuff go there. I'm gonna go back to Costco probably or probably order off Amazon, but I want a black one um, to put my trash bags in. So that's why the trash bag thing is like right here, all willy nilly. This came from Home Goods as well. 
Um, and y'all, I got back stock. I usually keep like the soap back here and I keep like paper towels back there so I don't have to go in the laundry room and get it. But I'm just gonna put everything back in this original place. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys the pantry. So I kind of like the setting that this camera's on. Oh, I also got a refill of cereal, y'all. So we're gonna do that too. We got a, we got a lot to do. So let me put this stuff up and then I'm gonna come back. So yeah, I try to calm future down so I can record some more. Y'all hear him. Okay, y'all. So I have to get all of the cereal out that I have to put in the container. And I'm gonna show y'all which cereal like our most top favorite here. This vlog is probably gonna be like an hour or something long. I'm not even gonna cap to y'all. But if y'all made it this far, I appreciate y'all. So let me show y'all. Hold on. So one of our um, well, it's literally only three cereal that like my kids eat. So, Lucky Charms is one. Cinnamon Toast is two. And Frosted Flakes is three. Um,. So let's get to it. So first what I need to do is, because all of these, if you know, Sam's and Costco sells stuff in the doubles. So literally all of these cereal boxes have two bags in them. So what I normally start off by doing, I'm gonna sit y'all back so y'all can see. And I'm gonna lure y'all too. Shout out to this tripod. So normally what I do, future's teasing y'all. So we've been on these. Whatever it is. Um, so what I do is I normally just take um one out because one will feel like one of those things, and I might need some more, but I like to consolidate just because I don't want all of these boxes in my pantry. Um, and a good thing about these, they they're just like stuck together, so. I don't really gotta do too much with that one. So now I have what looks like this. So we got these. So next we're gonna get our containers. Um, and they're labeled as well. And they come with like this little thing to catch like cereal. We clean those out at night just so we don't get like sweet ants. Um, as y'all can see, I got these labels from Amazon and these containers also came from Amazon. When you press this, it released the cereal for the kids and they just put their bowls here. The greatest invention ever. So one says cereal one, one says cereal two, and one says cereal three. We're gonna start off with cereal one. This is gonna be um, the, what you call it? As y'all can see, I try to match the aesthetic of the house with like goldish, brownish like cereal sometimes. But my kids cannot tear away from these lucky charms and like i told y'all one bag almost fills it up i don't want this big ass space in there so i'm gonna actually open up the other box because i just don't like that big gap at the top of my cereal like it's barely over that part like i just don't like that so we're gonna take this out the box as well and like i told y'all we're just gonna fill it to the brim and we're gonna put the lid on it and y'all, these cereals don't last no more than a week, so I can't quote y'all on freshness. I do have other cereals that, like, they didn't care for that stayed in there for, like, a couple weeks, and they were still fresh. So these are air seal tight, which I'm going to show y'all the top. So this is the top. Like I said, it's, like, air seal tight. So, like, whenever you press down on it, it's, like, completely closed. So this is what it looks like when it's filled so cute so aesthetically pleasing um and then we're gonna move on to cereal number two and my daughter cleaned all of these out yesterday like y'all seen on camera um normally i always get the same cereal so i ain't gonna lie I just be refilling it but sometimes at least you know i like to clean them at least once every other week because like i said we don't really these cereals don't really last long, so I'm constantly having to um, refill them. And as y'all can see, one bag gets you about a third of the way. 
and then you just need the other bag to fill it and i have to go remake grocery again next weekend so i'm not really tripping on having a half a bag um as soon as it starts to get low i just basically go back and just top it off and with these i have gold clips and i'm gonna show y'all i got them from um home goods so yeah that's how i keep my cereal fresh and this is how the second one looks cute okay and then on to the last one which is going to be frosted flakes um so i am about to put that in there and i think i want to say this bag doesn't fill it up either i might be wrong though i know one of these i know one of the cereal that i be getting it filled it up and the rest of them don't but like I told y'all, I do not like it to look like this. And we're gonna keep this box for backstop because this is like the bigger, the biggest box. And I got three small bags of cereal, um, just to like roll up and put in there. And we're just gonna top it off, give it a little shake. Cute put the airtight thing on there and then I don't know if y'all know but you're supposed to like get the air out I let the air out I don't know if y'all let the air out but I let the air out so let the air out of this and then I'm gonna I don't feel like it's okay so I'm gonna put this in the box and this is how the third one looks and I'm gonna show y'all overall how they look when they put together they're really cute um i'm thinking about ordering more lights off of amazon i ordered some before but i want these black like lights um to go underneath the thing and i also want those motion lights for the bottom of the uh what is it called the bottom of the cabinet so as y'all can see everything fits in here one box so we're actually going to close this back up they have like little tab insert things on the side of these so you can keep it closed so put that there why am i struggling with this i'm gonna put this here and yeah so it's closed now. Everything is in this one box, so we consolidated from three to one. So that's that. And I okay. So let me show y'all the pantry. Um, well, let me show y'all the cereal first. So. This is how the cereal look. Y'all do not mind my outlets. Somebody came for me in the comments about my outlets before and I deleted your comment, Bookie. So leave my outlets alone. I'm debating on changing my outlets from the white ones to the black ones, but I just have to get on my husband to see about who can switch them out. Cause baby, I'm not touching it. Um, so I just have to buy new outlets and the outlet covers to go on those. But y'all, this is how my cereal dispensary thing is looking these were supposed to go in the cabinet but they're too tall and they don't fit so and i, I didn't want to put them like way at the top but here's a little snippet of the pantry y'all it is not fully stocked disclaimer it is not fully stocked so this is like empty this is empty which i'm thinking about changing this y'all um i've been kind of contemplating on redoing like this shelving of the pantry because i think i want to get more of these um, which I think I am. I think I ordered these off of Walmart or Amazon. If I find them on Amazon, I'm going to link them for y'all. But I'm thinking about having these go all the way around. And then I'm going to put these baskets of backstock. Um, I don't know, y'all. My vision is in my head. It can't come out of my mind. It's just not there yet. Um, I have to put this up here. Which I'm not tall enough. So I'm going to just put this right here for when I, after I get my little step ladder. But I have to cut these pineapples later. Um, and then this is how the bottom of the backstock is looking. Um, I refilled the waters and the juices for the kids yesterday and I decided to put these plates right here just for the time being Normally whenever the pantry is fully stocked this cannot fit here um, My kids got the animal crackers, which I'm gonna put some in this jar to put in the middle of the um I'm actually about to do that right now with y'all. So I bought organic um 
what you call it, and I did not mean to. I don't like how they taste. They taste like vanilla, um, which my son and everybody like them, but I don't. Yeah. And like I told y'all, Future is um, teething right now, so he pretty much eats everything. Yeah, stick a butt. So I'm going to put these animal cookies, and I I noticed that um, Sam's has these a little bit cheaper than Costco does. So I know next time, and my husband loves the ones from Sam's. Like literally, I only like the the ice the, the ones that has icing on it. I don't really care for the plain ones. My auntie used to buy me ones with icing on it because <laughs> I was special. She actually started me with animal crackers, so I have a love for animal crackers. So I think I don't know where I want to put that. I think I want to put it over here, some type of way. Um, I just don't know how that's gonna work. I think I'm gonna actually take this down because I want a gold one. You know, I'm gonna this for this next one. So y'all, I am looking for a. Uh, thing to organize all my forks and stuff but um if y'all watched in a previous vlog or tiktok i got these from tj maxx so i got these from tj maxx they're not the ones i wanted but they're some they can suffice for right now um which i think what i want to do is get like a um a board for these to sit on so they can sit closer to the stove so like they can sit like right here and i want them i have this board in my cart on amazon so i'm thinking about ordering it it's like a black board um so i think i'm gonna order that today probably i don't know i don't know if i want them to go here or y'all can see i got the little setup right here with like all the gold spoons and stuff going on um i bought this from tarjay a while ago and like I said, I just put like the little gold stuff in here, mm -hmm. which this needs to be washed because why do they have, why do they have noodles in it? And it, it, it be on the oven, y'all, so it kind of got burnt, so I stopped putting it on the oven. Drink, go sit down, please. So I kind of stopped putting it on the oven, actually, um, because of that reason. So I just start sitting it to the side, and then these uh, spoons, which is hella dirty, needs to go on the thing. Um, I got these from Walmart, so if y'all want gold utensils, Go to Wally. So I'm gonna figure out that set up in a minute. I just have to. Um, I've just finished uh, uploading a TikTok, which I'm almost at 30,000 followers, and I'm almost at 1K on here. So, which I forgot to add that thing. I'm gonna put that on my next video. I always gotta use the little hashtag road to 1K because that be pushing your videos a little bit too. So, yeah, I just uploaded the Costco previous haul on here. I have the story with the Costco and I have a membership Costco. I got a lot of videos for y'all to watch. Like this video right here is like almost to a million. It's 975 right now. Um, and I gotta redo my pin videos cause I got like a DH gate um, video at the top that's at 9,000, it was at 8,000 this morning. So apparently that's semi going viral right now. Um, also what I want to do today is I might do this. This is a disaster. Like I just be putting shit up here and it don't belong. This is actually for, um, make sure my address ain't showing up here. Cause I got weirdos that follow me. Um, my seasoning is supposed to go in there and then my cookies going here. So I might clean this off later. Yeah. I might clean this off later. I got that trash bag from boxes from Costco. I got to break this box down. It is hot. I don't know why I put this black suit on. Oh, let me show y'all my candles. So I, I think I showed y'all in this vlog. I can't remember. But I redid this pantry. Um, when I get grocery, the next time I have to buy like flour, pancake mix, and stuff to like refill all of these. Uh, like I said, I got these labels from Amazon. And I got the candles at the top. Don't ask me why I got the candles with the food there for right now. I, I don't know. I was confused. I was just doing stuff. Um, this is the medicine cabinet. It is a hot mess. And then I have this cabinet here, which is the seasoning cabinet. And also a futures cabinet because his stuff is all the way at the top. His dad's stuff is all the way at the top as well. So I have to redo all of my seasonings again. As y'all remember, a while ago, I had these and they just don't match with the aesthetic anymore. So I have to redo all of that and I've been trying to find pretty much something 
um that i like and i also have to order a new handle for the microwave y'all did not know if your microwave peels like this just go on amazon and order another one and somebody please anybody if your stove gets burnt and like it doesn't come off no matter what products you use or how you clean it let me know in the comments because i've been looking it up for quite some time now so i have to feed my kids after I feed my kids, I'm going to check back in with y'all. Probably do like some meat cleaning. I have to do laundry. Um, so, y'all probably going to do that with me too. Like I said, the girls pretty much cleaned up yesterday. But I want to straighten off the countertops because I want them to be clear so that I can refill my cookie jars. This vlog is going to keep going and going. But today is going to be the end of this vlog for sure. Um, because I want to start editing this to get it in the count to be uploaded as well. I'm thinking about starting to upload like every other day or every day. So, I reach like 1K or 2K. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all want me to do. But let me get started on what I got to do, feeding them and stuff like that. And I'm going to check back in with y'all later on. Okay, y'all. So, as I'm editing this video, I just noticed that I don't know what happened to my outro. I don't know. I just don't know what happened to it. So, I came on here to tell y'all this is just basically the end of the video. Because I don't like really putting, like, thanks for watching on the video. Because I just feel like that's mad rude. So, I just want to come on here, do an outro, let you guys know um, that I'm almost... <laughs> To 1K followers, y'all see future little feet. Um, he want to talk to the camera, y'all. It's currently 10 o'clock at night, and I'm trying to edit this video to upload it for Sunday, which is tomorrow. Um, I want to come on here and let y'all know I'm currently. He just threw my cause dog on the dang on floor. So currently, right now, as of today, I'm. I just want to keep documenting like when I'm before I hit 1K followers. So currently I am at 769 followers. As y'all can see, I'm not lying. It is definitely 10 o'clock at dang on night. Um, I am editing. I'm getting ready to basically upload this vlog for tomorrow. As y'all can see, I have been consistent for almost two months now, which I'm so proud of myself. I just uploaded this vlog, which is like a, deep, a Sunday deep cleaning vlog about three days ago. Um, and this video is going to go up probably at, I'm probably going to upload this at 12 o'clock, um, AM. So soon as the next day comes. So yeah, this is when I started back actually being consistent, but I also have other videos for you guys to watch. Um, I think this is like my most viral video right now. I think I'm at like almost 7k views. Well, 6.3k to me that's 7k. Um, the other ones, I need y'all to go run those up because y'all missing out on my life, but um, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram too. So I'm trying to get my Instagram following up. So I'm going to put that down below. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this hour long vlog. Um, as I stated before, um, I'm on the road to 1K. Hopefully this becomes like more than just 1K. But you know you got to start at 1K and have like all those watch hours. So right now I think I'm at like 1400 watch hours. So if you guys can share my video it is much obliged. Much appreciated. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching to, your, to the end of this vlog. Um, see you guys in a couple days with the new vlog. Um, I don't know. Once I reach 1K is when y'all going to really see like the juicy vlogs or whatever. So y'all give me the 1K or whatever. <laughs> so y'all can really see like how I act and my personality. But yeah, so that is it for this vlog. I'm going to see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Bye.